Okay, here I'm going to demonstrate the new magnifier accessibility tool that comes with the upcoming Windows 7. First of all, I've got some programs running. I've got a website, a video and a website, and a calculator. Okay, I'm just going to bring all those up like this. And now I'm just going to use the Windows key and press the plus button to zoom in on this. Let's press those there now. As you can see, we've zoomed in to 200%, and as I move the mouse, I'm panning around the screen, magnified to 200%. This wasn't something that was possible with earlier versions of Windows unless you purchased um, expensive extra software. And as you can see, everything works as normal. And we can only see a part of the screen at any one time. Now I'm just zooming in a bit further, so we can zoom in up to 1600%, but as you can see, as we get, as we zoom in further and further, the graphics and the text begin to get a little bit difficult to read, a bit blurry, a bit pixelated. I'm just zooming back out again, I've zoomed all the way back out so I can see the whole screen there. And notice we can zoom in just a little bit, so I've zoomed in 125%. 150 percent, 175 and up to 200. Now there's this little magnifying glass that follows around all the time and if I click on that I get the little toolbar which has a plus and minus button on it and also I get some options to change views so at the moment we're in full screen mode we've also got lens mode and lens mode allows us to move this magnification lens around normal screen so everything's 100% except where the lens passes over. So it's good because we, we might know that the calculator is in that area but in order to see the individual buttons we'd need to use the lens so it's a good alternative to using full screen magnification. I'll just put it back on full screen. Full screen is normally the preferred option for people who have a vision impairment severe enough to need it. Um, here in the magnifier options I'll just zoom in on those so we can see them. There we go. Uh, we've got a few options in here. Here we change the um, amount of magnification increases. Here we've got the color inversion, so that, um, and then here we've got um, options to have the magnifier follow the keyboard as it moves around the screen. And finally, we've got an area here fine tune what my screen fonts would look like in order to try and make them a bit less blocky. You can try and adjust the clear type, but I haven't really been able to make that make a big difference. So there it is, there's the um, uh, magnifier in Windows 7.